Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 45 of the level 3 UIM. In this episode I'm going to be doing a lot more farming than I normally do. Um, I'm going to try and go for 90 farming in this episode so we are going to make our way over there right now and get ourselves cracking on some XP. Okay so we've got ourselves sneaking in the first level while harvesting and that is going to be 86 farming. Unfortunately I can't stand around to look at it. Because I've got to harvest my plants before they die, and to be honest, today I've been killing quite a lot of them. I've been trying to multi-log while doing this, and it is incredibly difficult. Okay, so as we are back to farming now, and I've completed myself another inventory, I want to do this quick clip, because we are going to hand these in, and we're actually going to crest over a thousand points. Which, apparently, you cap at, and I didn't realise that. So we're going to have to spend some points. I did not actually know that you cap at a thousand points. This is awkward. So due to that little miscalculation, uh, I missed out on some of the points there, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, we're going to go into the shop, and I think what I'm actually going to spend my points on, at least for now, because I may get a herb sack in the future, is super compost. And the reason for this is because it's basically just going to save me a whole load of time in the future. When I want to make ultra compost, I've already got the super compost and I just have to add the volcanic sulfur to it. So we should be able to go ahead and buy ourselves, um, what is that, 200 I think? That should be all of our points. And there we go, that is 200 super compost. We'll stack this in with the lepcorn and we'll get back to doing some more tithe. Another level coming in, if we hand in this patch here. We get ourselves 87 farming. Here we have ourselves another scuffed inventory, finished with 98. Not as bad as the previous one though, where I believe I finished with 91. I lost 9 fruits on that, and that is because I was recording a clip for the other account and completely forgot I was doing Thai farm. But anyway, let's drop this off and get ourselves 34.5k, and that is 88 farming. Two more levels to go. We just got ourselves 89 farming, and I missed it on recording, but there you go, that is 89 farming. Alright, just quickly grabbing ourselves a dragon impling. Uh, thanks for the call out, by the way. And dragon stone bolts. This was not worth it, because I just lost the majority of a type inventory and completely forgot that I lose my fruit when I leave. That sucks. Okay, so, after that abysmal waste of time to try and get a dragon impling, which turned out to be dragonstone bolt tips, I have finally finished with farming. I really wish that that dragon impling had been uh, glories, because that would have made me a lot happier. But, however, we now have all of the fruit we have here, and we can hand this in and get ourselves the last lot of XP, and that is 90 farming. That's... I think 1.8 million XP I've done in this episode, that was a lot of XP. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that much in every episode, but I'll give it a try. Okay, so, now that farming is completed for the episode, what am I actually going to be attempting? Well, uh, I kind of want to do something that's a little bit risky, and I'm not even sure if I'll be able to complete it, but I want to try. And that is a quest that I've been considering doing for a long time, and it is... We'll find it down here. This one. Tai Y one o trio. Now, the reason this is a problem is because I will have to get a little bit of combat XP in this. Obviously, I'm going to be utilizing poison to minimize that XP. Um, but it is still going to give me some combat XP. So hopefully, I still stay at level 1 in these stats. If I ever get close to a level, I'm, I'm obviously just going to just stop. Because it's not worth risking gaining combat levels to complete a quest like this. But if I do complete this quest, I do unlock like a uh, raw cram one shop. Um, I can use KP, which is something that I want to use as well. Um, just other things like that. Um, I can also, one of the main things that I want to do with this is that once I complete this, I can actually use, uh, where are they? These scrolls, because currently it doesn't let me use them because I haven't done the quest, which is really annoying. So it'd be really nice to have that unlocked. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be attempting to do Type 1 Trio. I'm going to get myself some gear together, and we're going to get started. Okay, so, we're collecting up all the items for the quest. I grabbed myself a Steel Spear from this guy here, which is on the Kowloon Mountain, because we do need this for part of the quest. And there is one item that I need to get, and I'm going to need to actually go and do some stuff for it. And that is the Agility Potion. Uh, the reason for this is because I need a Toad Flax, and I think the best way for me to comfortably get a Toad Flax without having to wait like 80 minutes for the herb to grow 
is to go to the Brimhaven Agility Arena, and I can buy it with tickets. I do have 72 Agility, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It should only take me a little while. Uh, so we're going to head over to Brimhaven and grab ourselves a Toflax from the Agility course. So apparently I only need three tickets to get a Toflax. This shouldn't take long. And we're done. And we're right next to the end as well. That's three tickets done. Let's go get ourselves a Toflax. Never mind. I need a four-dose potion, which means I need to make two of them. Thanks, Luke. Okay, that is six tickets. Now, we can head our way out of here and actually buy ourselves two Toflax to make two agility potions to put them together to make one four dose ready for the quest. Okay, buy Toflax, buy Toflax. There we go, two Toflax. Let's go and get ourselves the secondary, a vial of water, and we'll go make the potions. Okay, let's unlock the herbs, use them on the vials, got ourselves the toad legs, make the agility potions use them and there we go we have our four dose agility potion and a two dose agility potion which i'm probably just going to use just for the sake of it because i don't need it for anything else okay so we've got everything we need i've stacked up on some cakes we've got an anti-poison because this is critical because i can easily die if i don't have this and uh let's start the quest start tie by one a trio let's go Okay, so we're going to start with the Karambwan portion, which is the guy who's trying to kill the Shiaken, and we're getting attacked by snakes. That is great. I'm going to deal with this guy and uh, try and start talking to this guy, but obviously, if I'm in combat, it's really difficult. So, hopefully, I can do this without snakes bombarding me. Look at this animation. It just looks so ridiculous because of the way it's scaled. <laughs> okay, so... I got the Karamp one, and I figured, I'm 80, I'm 80 cooking. I'm not going to burn this, am I? Yeah, yeah, I am. I burnt the Karamp one. But it's okay, though, because I do have 73 fishing, which means I can just go and fish more. Um, I know a lot of people get into this position, and they, uh, they don't have the fishing level, so it's really awkward. But thankfully, like I said, I can just go fish more. It's just a bit of a time waste. Ooh, a medium task in the Karamja area, which I'm never going to finish. All right, let's attempt, let's attempt this again. And there we go. We actually cooked it this time. No burning done. That's another brother done. Okay, so we're at a part in this quest where I need to kill a monkey. And I want to do this gaining as little XP as possible. And I know that there are certain methods that where I can gain zero XP. I believe with the cannon method I could do it. Um, but the spawn hitting method is patched and stuff like that. And basically the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to have some help from uh, Joe over here. And we're going to try and use Venom and I only have to do one damage. It's a little bit awkward, but it does work because I've tested it on another account. Um, it's just so I basically get four XP in ranged and like one XP in HP. It should suffice. So we're going to give this an attempt and we're going to see how it goes. Runelight won't even tell you. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. You hit it, right? I've got a hit, though. I've got a hit. I've hit. That's it. Okay, God bless, we got it. Oh my gosh. I thought you were going to walk out of aggro. We finally got it. That took us, like, I don't know how long. But we got it. There we go. I only had to get four range XP. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much for your help. God, that was way harder than it should have been. But there we go. Monkey Corpse has been obtained. Um, I believe that this guy helps me skin it. And I'm just going to sort this out off, off camera, to be honest. Okay, so because I had to leave um, Karamja to get the agility potion stuff, I actually did lose the Karamja run that I bought earlier. However, I'm going to go back and grab some now. I also need to get myself some logs so I can cook the stuff later. I can't remember what it is, but I need some logs so I can cook some stuff later. Um, I'm going to quickly grab ourselves the crammed and rum. I'm going to go over here and chop the tree so I can get some logs. And we'll head back and we can finish up the final bits of this quest. There is one more monster that I'm going to need to kill with the same method. And that is a yoga. Um, honestly, I think this is actually going to be easier than the monkey. Because one of the biggest problems with the monkey was that the monkey's defense was so low, it was really hard to actually achieve what we were doing. But yogas have got much higher defense, so it should be a lot easier. But let's grab ourselves some logs, and we'll head back over there. So the joker kill is becoming a bit of an issue. Hopefully, this isn't going to take too much longer. 
Oh my god. We have finally, finally got the hit. This has taken over an hour to do. Now we just wait. Dice the venom, and I get the bones, and we're good. My god, that was way too much effort. Honestly, I think this is actually going to be easier than the monkey. This is the bit that terrifies me. This can one-hit me. Please don't fail. Okay, we're good. Just gotta run away from the scorpions. Cool. And that should be the last of the brothers done. Now we've got to head back to Taiwan I talk to the father, and we should be finished with this quest. So, it seems there's a little bit of confusion as to where you actually get the XP in this quest, because obviously there is attack and strength XP as a reward, but I'm almost certain that you have to go and talk to the brothers to go and get that reward. So, I should be fine handing this in. We hope, because otherwise this account's ruined. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hand this in. I am really hoping this doesn't screw me over. People have told me that you can do this quest as long as you don't hand it in. Okay, there's the coins. Right. So it says that I gained attack and strength XP, but I got no XP drops. No, we're good. There we go. No XP gained. Look at that. Quest complete. We have finally done Type 1 I Trio. I've wanted to do this for ages because I can now use the Teleport Scrolls. That's amazing. Okay, so the next quest I want to do, I'm actually going to need another crab one. And to do this, I kind of need to go and talk to one of the brothers. But don't worry, I know which one gives the combat XP. I'm not going to go and talk to them. I'm going to run over here. Um, apparently going to run around in circles. And it's Tadachi that I want to talk to. And that is this one here, I believe. Yes. This guy should only give me 5,000 fishing XP. Again, this is terrifying, but we should be okay. Let's talk to Tadachi and get ourselves 5,000... Please, just 5,000 fishing. There we go. And that's it. Okay, cool. That is fine. But now we should also be able to buy Raw Cram 1, and that is perfect. So the reason I bought a Raw Cram 1 is so I could make Poison Cram 1 and then turn it into paste to put onto a spear. First things first, I need to get myself an Iron Spear from Mount Carolum. Oh wait, you can't get an Iron Spear from here, can you? I just realised this. So that means I need to get a Bronze Spear, and the only way to get that is from the dig site. You know, I've really got to stop being incredibly lazy. I could just do this. That saved me a lot of time. There should be the stuff to search in the dig site over here. Specimen jar, that's that. I'm sure I can also get gloves and something around here. And like the trowel, I can pickpocket the trowel from one of the dig site workmen. There's the rock pick. I'm just gonna have a look around the dig site center and see what I can grab before I head up there. All right, so we're trying to do this without the little boots. Does it stop me? Oh, apparently not. Okay, well, it doesn't matter then. I don't even need the boots. Apparently, I don't need leather boots or gloves. I can do it regardless. And there we go. We can get a bronze spear. All right, so we got the bronze spear. We can add the poison to it. And there we go. We have a KP bronze spear. Okay, so the quest we're actually doing is the Corsair Curse. Now, I did start this a long time ago, so I could access... Corsair Cove, I think, for a clue step, if I remember rightly. And uh, I thought that I was never going to be able to finish it. But it shouldn't actually be too difficult. Because I've got a Poison Spear right here, I can actually defeat the uh, the guy at the end. He's not that hard. And the quest doesn't give any combat XP. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the Corsair Curse quest. Okay, so we've done majority of the quest. It was just basically me running around talking to people, so it wasn't a big deal. That's why I didn't really record any of it. But we are now at the point where I need to kill Ifoi, and that is what I brought the spear for. Basically, I'm going to get him stuck and try and poison him. That's pretty much how this method's going to work. So he's going to be angry with me, and he should get stuck right here. There we go, perfect. And now I just have to hit him until I poison him. He does have reduced XP, so that means I should get hardly anything for killing him, but we'll try it. I basically have to do this until I hit and he gets poisoned. This could take a while. And there we go, he is poisoned. So, now we, uh, we kind of just chill and we wait. He's got the poison on him, just literally wait for him to die, and then we can finish the quest. Easy peasy. Slowly working his health down, eventually gonna kill him. 
Okay, so it apparently seems that Ifoi actually heals faster than a normal NPC. So we're going to have to re-poison him because as the next poison kicks in, he's actually healing. Yeah, so I'm going to need to poison him again. So we're just going to do this just like we did before, get another poison off, and that will finish the kill. So apparently, four more hits wasn't enough to poison him, and he's now healed to full. I am very much convinced that his healing is increased uh, based on, like, compared to normal monsters, because he is healed rapidly fast. The plan here is to get the poison again like I did before, and when he's about half health, I'm going to try and refresh the poison, because if I can manage to do that, then I'll get the kill. Like I said before, this is reduced XP, so it's not, like, it's, it actually hasn't given me any XP in melee so far, so... And I've done like six hits. So worst case scenario, I think I get like one XP in each of my melee stats. And I'm really not too worried about that. I am very grateful that there is reduced XP. Because otherwise, I don't think I would have done this. Okay, so we managed to re-poison him. When his health gets down to about half, I'm going to re-poison him again. Try and refresh the poison. And that will be enough to push him all the way to zero. I should have done this the first time. But I didn't realize the poison wasn't going to kill him. So obviously, I didn't do it. But, like I said, I'm not getting any XP, so I might as well. Okay, so, he's down to four on the poison, so I'm going to start trying to re-poison him. And refresh the poison, and if I manage to get the refresh on the poison, this quest is done. So in the last clip, I mentioned that I was, he was getting hit by fours, and I was going to try and refresh the poison. Well, guess what? I'm still trying. Uh, the poison ran out, and he is now gradually healing. I've hit about four times since then, I think. Maybe five and no luck so he's probably going to gradually heal to full while i'm still trying to do this oh and i also want to mention the reason there's no food left is because i wasn't even flinching i was just rapidly hitting him just desperately trying to get that poison no dice all right so it's concluded that it really does not matter i can't repoison him he is nearly back at full health and i've been trying this entire time still can't repoison him so the new method is we just keep flinching him until he dies, pretty much, because eventually the poison will kick in, and if I'm consistently trying to refresh it like this, I just got two hits in a row apparently, um, and he will eventually die, and if he doesn't, there's not much more I can do, so I'm just going to do this for a good, I don't know, 10-20 minutes and see what happens. We've done it, apparently he didn't out heal me, but okay, we've done it. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm really surprised because I thought that was going to be a failure, but he's gone. Now we can go and finish the quest, finally. I think I've been doing this for about 45 minutes. I thought this was going to be a lot quicker. And he's not that hard. Okay, so we should be able to finish this quest by talking to Tok. And there we go, quest complete. I've got two quest points. And Corsair Cove bank access. We have finally got access to a bank. We are the first Ultimate Iron Man that can actually use a bank. Finally, we get to use ourselves a bank. It says we've now got our bank access. Let's open up. Oh. Okay then. It lied to us, we don't get access to a bank. What a scam. And on that note, I'm going to be ending off this episode. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you again next week. Take care, guys.